Hey YouTube family and GN subs, hope you're doing well. This is Umberto Gray, attorney at law. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm known as the good news guy. I give you good news, give you updates on policy and immigration, what's going on. We tackle very complicated subject matter. We break it down, explain it, make it very simple. Uh, and then we go through real cases. Today, I have many real cases that I'm working on in my office so you can get an idea of the timing of adjudication, what's going on in real time, not what they say on the website, right? This is exactly what's going on. So we're gonna go through some cases today. You know, stay tuned till the end. I'll go through these real cases and uh, let you know what's happening. All right, so we got a lot to unpack today. Let's get at it. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's first talk about some uh, good news, all right? Um, asylum cases. Asylums now can be filed online, right? You go to myaccount.uscis.dhs.gov and you can create your own account to file your actual asylum application. This has not been announced yet, folks. This is brand new. So um, you can do it. It's like a soft launch. They haven't launched it um, uh, fully yet, but it can be accessed. Um, go to the government website again and check it out if you want to file online. I think it's I think it's going to be more efficient uh, if you're able to file uh, an application online. You're able to track it. I like the new system that immigration has, where we immigration attorneys create an actual account uh, online. We file documents. We respond to RFEs online. We upload documents to the website. It's making it much more efficient. Uh, I have it tied to my client management system, which is great. So, hey, take advantage. All right, another bit of good news. H2A agricultural temporary workers and H2B temporary workers, such as I used to represent, for example, Mammoth Mountain, and we used to bring ski instructors on, on the H2B visas. Um, you know, Nobu restaurant, we have a lot of temporary workers, uh, et cetera, seasonal workers. So um, they have rolled out availability of more H's because of the need for employees in the United States. So that's a bit of good news. Also, again, I told you time and time again, it's gonna happen, right? We got some new legislation renewing um, push for the dreamers to become permanent residents in the United States. Uh, Senator Alex Padilla is heading up that effort and uh, it's it's moving through. We have individuals on both sides, both in the House and in the Senate. Uh, again, gaining traction, we'll see what happens, but uh, um, I'm not gonna lose hope for the Dreamers. I'm not gonna lose hope. All right, I was reading a little bit about uh, VAWA adjustments. So if you have a VAWA case, you know, Violence Against Women uh, Act, if you have a VAWA case, um, you can file an adjustment of status some of the grounds of inadmissibility do not apply. So example, if you entered without inspection, iwi, illegally, you get a, an approved VAWA petition, I-360, you could still file the adjustment of status despite the fact that you came illegally. A lot of people don't know that, all right? But some grounds of inadmissibility still apply. Fraud, fraud and misrepresentation, uh, prior deportations, uh, and entries into the United States, those are bars. You cannot adjust. If you've been removed in absentia, that means you didn't go to your court hearing and you were deported, um, you cannot adjust in the United States. So that's a preclusion. So there are some grounds, but most, most petitions that are approved under VAWA, you're able to adjust in the United States without a waiver, which is great. All right, so let's talk about some real-time cases. All right, I-130 petitions. I've been asked time and time again on the comments, how long is it taking for an I-130 petition to be approved? I would say generally these days is taking about six to eight months, right? It used to be a year and a half, two years. So if your I-130 is pending for more than that time period, make an inquiry. All right, let's talk about I-90s, right? I-90s, replacement of green cards. If your green card has expired, or you lost it, you need to file what's called an I-90. To get the new green card, it was taking a year, year and a half. It's taking about six months now. Some, I've been getting some a lot faster. So I would say six months is a max time. Some have come, you know, as fast as within three months or so. All right, so look at this approval of advanced parole for DACA. All right, very important. Look at the information on this. You can only use this advanced parole between 
two dates. They give you a time frame that you're able to use the actual advance parole, which means you need to travel within that time frame. Leave. You can't leave before the date and you can't come back after that date. It tells you also how long you can leave. You have to look at this, right? You have in this particular one, it's a one day trip. It's one entry back into the US. Some advanced paroles are multiple entries. DACA, one, okay? I sent 51 interviews. I'm telling you, it's taking two years for these things to be adjudicated. Look at this one. Interview waived, they're still waiving final interviews. That's really good news. All right, so N-400 citizenship. Look at this. Within two months of filing, we have the interview crazy stuff on citizenship. They're still scheduling the interviews really, really fast. So if you ever wanted to apply for citizenship, now is the time. It used to take a year. It used to take a year from the date of filing to the date you got the interview, but now it's super fast. Hey, YouTube family and GN subs, thanks so much for watching Great Law TV. Click below, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week.